Buen día a todos. Soy profesora Ives. Estoy soltera y disponible. <laughs> Today you are going to learn conjugations of irregular Spanish verbs in the present tense. Irregular Spanish present tense verbs. Stem changers. Some verbs change their stem in the present tense. Note that the stems of these verbs change in all forms except nosotros and vosotros. They are usually categorized by the type of change. For example, o to u e and e to i e. O to u e stem changing verbs. First verb is we have dormir, which is to sleep. The conjugations of the verb dormir are duermo, duermes, duerme, dormimos, dormis, y duermen. These stem changing verbs are often called boot verbs. And here's why. When you organize the verb conjugations into two rows, the forms whose stem change look like a boot. Now let's take a look at this shape with the verb acostar. Siguiente, el verbo acostar, to go to bed. Los conjugaciones del verbo acostar son acuesto, acuestas, acuesta, acostamos, acostáis, acuestan. Now, can you see the boot? The two of the boot is made by the ustedes, ios y ias form, acuestan. Here's one more from o to o e stem changing verb, volver, to return. Los conjugaciones del verbo volver son vuelvo, vuelves, vuelve, volvemos, volves, vuelven. Next is we have e to e e stem changing verbs. Another group of stem changing verbs changed from e to e e. Examples include el verbo empezar to start. Los conjugaciones el verbo empezar son empiezo, empiezas, empieza, empezamos. Empezáis, empiezan. Querer, to want. Los conjugaciones del verbo querer son quiero, quieres, quiere, querimos, queríes, quieren. Y el verbo sentir, to feel. Los conjugaciones del verbo sentir son siento, sientes, siente. Sentimos, sentís, sienten. If you're feeling a little loose, don't panic. All Spanish learners felt this way at some point. But the good news is, learning all these verbs is possible. Once you get used to the irregular verbs, they'll come to you naturally and you'll soon find out your own ears wincing when listening to an improperly conjugated verb. Now let's move on to irregular Spanish present tense verbs. First person. Other verbs are irregular in the first person, yet regular in all other forms. These are relatively simple to learn. One example is dar, to give. The first person form is irregular. Doy, as in doy on regalo. I give a present. But the other forms are Regular. Los conjugaciones del verbo dar son doy, das, da, damos, da es, dan. The verbs poner, to put or place, traer, to bring, and salir, to leave or go out, are sometimes called the go or yo go verbs because they end in go in the first person. Poner becomes pongo, traer becomes traigo, and salir becomes salgo. All three verbs are regular in all other forms. 
Here's poner conjugated for example. Pongo, pones, pone, ponemos, ponees, ponen. Other similar verbs are hacer, hago, and tener, tengo. Dicer, digo, and vener, vengo are both go verbs and also stem changing verbs. Other irregular verbs in the first person are ver, to see, which becomes veo, and saber, to know, which becomes se, as in you se or I know. And we are on irregular Spanish present tense verbs, totally irregular. There are three verbs that are so irregular, they get their own special category. Ser, to be, estar, to be, and er, to go. Los conjugaciones del verbo ser son soy, eres, es, somos, su es, son. Siguiente, el verbo estar seems almost normal until you see the accents. Los conjugaciones del verbo estar son estoy, estás, esta, estamos, está es, están. And el verbo ir to go is almost unrecognizable. Los conjugaciones del verbo ir son voy, vas, va, vamos, va es, van. Now let's learn spelling rules in the Spanish present tense. Just to confuse matters further, some verbs change their spelling in the present tense. Luckily, there are rules that dictate when this happens. Verbs ending in ser or sir. When the verb ends in a vowel plus ser or sir, you need to change the c to zc in the first person. For example, in the verb conocer, to know, becomes conozco in the first person and is regular in all other forms. Los conocciones del verbo conocer. Conozco, conoces, conoce, conocemos, conocéis, conocen. Other verbs that also have this spelling change are traducer, traduzco, aparecer, aparezco, crecer, crezco, and nacer, nas. Verbs ending in her, u, here. With verbs that end in her or here, change the g to a j in the first person. Examples are escoger, escojo, exeger, exejo, finger, fenjo, and eleger, elejo, which is also a stem changing verb. Verbs ending in ger. Finally, when a verb ends in ger, change gu to g in the first person. Consiguer becomes consigo. Siguer becomes sigo, another stem changing verb. And finalmente, distinguir becomes distingo. Ahora hagamos una revisión, or let us have a review. Uno, verbos de O a U E. Por ejemplo, dormir. Los conjugaciones del verbo dormir son duermo, duermes, duerme, dormimos, dormes, duermen. Número dos, verbos de E a I E. Por ejemplo, el verbo querer. Los conjugaciones del verbo querer son quiero, quieres, quiere, querimos, queríes, quieren. Número tres. Irregular Spanish present tense verbs. First person. Por ejemplo, el verbo dar. Los conjugaciones del verbo dar son doy, das, da, damos, daes, dan. Número cuatro, yo, go, verbs. Por ejemplo, el verbo poner. Los conjugaciones del verbo poner son pongo, ponemos, pones, ponéis, 
pone, ponen. Número 5. Special category verbs. Por ejemplo, el verbo estar. Las conjugaciones del verbo estar son estoy, estás, está, estamos, estáis, están. Spelling rules. Número uno. Verbs ending in ser o ser. Por ejemplo, el verbo conocer. Los conjugaciones del verbo conocer son conozco, conoces, conoce, conocemos, conocen. Verbs ending in her o hear. Por ejemplo, el verbo escoger. Los conjugaciones del verbo escoger son escojo, escoges, escoge, escogemos, escoges, escogen. Número 3. Verbs ending in ger. Por ejemplo, el verbo seguir. Los conjugaciones del verbo seguir son sigo, sigues, sigue, seguimos, sigues, siguen. Para su asignación o tarea, or for your assignment, conjuga los siguientes verbos irregulares. Uno, conseguir. Dos, elegir. 3. Nacer. 4. Tener. 5. Ver. 6. Salir. 7. Saber. 8. Traer. 9. Vener. 10. Ver. Eso es todo por hoy, chicos. Espero que aprendas mucho de esta lección. Adiós y que Dios nos bendiga a todos. Hasta nuestra próxima lección.